hey guys so when i asked what video you guys wanted to see everyone told me to do a what i eat in a day video where i show you guys recipes and how i make my meals for the day so that is exactly what i'm doing and i hope you guys love it so let's start with breakfast i'm going to start by preheating the oven to 375 and we are making my favorite banana pancakes today so you will need one banana two eggs vanilla extract some peanut butter and that is it these are really easy so i start by peeling the banana it's best when the banana is pretty ripe and disgusting like i don't eat them when they're ripe like this but they are perfect for the recipe the more ripe the sweeter they are so i will slice them up and i will mash them mash 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 them right down on a plate beforehand i sometimes i cut them up and put them in the bowl and put all the ingredients in and mash them up if I'm lazy but if I have the time mashing them up before you add the other ingredients works the best and then I will just go ahead and crack my two eggs right on top of this this adds the protein I'm going to mix those together you want to get a really good mix because this is basically what forms the batter you're not going to add any milk or anything like that so I like to mix it up pretty good and then I will go ahead and add my vanilla extract one teaspoon of that and I will also add about a tablespoon of natural peanut butter. If you get the all natural peanut butter, it is the best one to get because obviously it's protein. It's not that bad for you and it's freaking delicious. So I will mix it up until I get a good consistency. And parchment paper is the trick to everything. I like to bake them on parchment paper instead of cooking them in the pan on top of the stove because it is non-stick, nothing sticks. They slide off really easy and it is way easier for cleanup. And I mean, who wants to spend all day cleaning up? So I will go ahead and spoon my mixture onto the baking sheet. Usually I get about three to four pancakes sometimes five it really depends obviously when you spoon them on they're going to spread out from the center so i try not to let them touch and they're not going to be perfectly circular but i'm not anal about it and as you can see mine still do have chunks which is totally fine so i'm going to go ahead and throw those in my already preheated oven and i will set a timer for about 13 to 15 minutes anywhere between i'm going to check on them and while those are cooking i'm going to do the dishwasher so i basically every morning before i eat like to unload and reload my dishwasher so that after i've eaten them and i'm ready to start my day i don't have to go back and do it anyone with me coffee is like an essential start to the day if i don't have coffee i have a migraine i'm truly addicted so i'm gonna pour myself a coffee and nowadays i only use some light half fat cream i know i used to use all those creamers and everything but i've stopped using those and then my pancakes should be about ready to remove from the oven. You'll know they're done because they turn a little bit darker on the edges and the underside look like this. And as you can see, they're super easy to pull up. And I like to do fresh fruit and Greek yogurt as my toppings. So I'm today gonna do peaches and blueberries. I like to wash my fruit because who doesn't? And then I will go ahead and start slicing up my peaches and throwing out my blueberries. And I like to arrange my pancakes, of course, one by one, as you do. You don't have to have all of them, but I find this is really filling and it lasts me a good long while. So I like to add a dollop of my 2% plain Greek yogurt to the top. This is not whipped cream. This is a healthier, high protein way to do it. And I'll just arrange my fruit, whatever fruits around that I do. Usually I like to do strawberries and raspberries, but I didn't have any. And then I do a little dollop of maple syrup on top to taste. You don't have to do that. It's a little bit of a guilty pleasure. I just like to do it sometimes to add even more sweetness and when I tell you guys that this is so filling but also so delicious oh here I am taking an Instagram picture of my food because hello who doesn't do that but anyway this is the most delicious thing I make this for lunch not only breakfast like I crave this all the time and I make it all the time so now on to lunch I'm starting off with some boiled water and I'm going to go ahead and boil two eggs um, it depends how you like your eggs. I personally like to set a timer on mine for eight minutes when I'm making this recipe because I like them firm but not too soft, you know what I mean? And here are the ingredients that you are going to need going forward. I'm going to start with an avocado, a ripened avocado, and I'm going to cut that and start scooping out the inside. Again, the more ripe it is, the easier this is. Once I have that, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, I'm also going to add some lemon juice to taste. You can add as much as you want. And then I'm going to add some black pepper because that makes everything taste better and start to mash the avocado down. This is a recipe where you want to leave the avocado kind of chunky, so I will mash it, but I'm not going to make it smooth and pureed like baby food necessarily. And then my eggs should be done. I'm just going to run them under cold water so that they're all set. And then I'm going to start slicing up my boiled eggs roughly because what I'm doing is making egg salad, in case you guys hadn't guessed. I'm gonna add some green onions or scallions, whatever you wanna call them. I like a lot, you can do as many as you want. Then I'm also going to add some black pepper and my favorite part is adding chives, which I'm adding here. I like to add a lot of those. 
And then I go in with a little dollop of Dijon mustard because this just adds a really great flavor to the mixture. And then some fat-free mayonnaise, just a little bit of tablespoon, and bacon bits because, hello, I'm obsessed with bacon, isn't everyone? And then what you're gonna do is just roughly mash and mix everything together, combining, kind of smushing. It's really gross, it looks like baby food, but it tastes freaking delicious. And then with the avocado mixture, I'm making avocado toast for my little sister and I'm going to put the mixture on top of some whole grain crackers for myself because I don't really eat bread like that. So you just go ahead and dollop the avocado mixture you made earlier. Spread it out nicely. I like to do it in nice thick gloopy layers because hello, these are healthy fats. And then I'm going to drizzle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on top of it. And then I'm going to go ahead with red pepper flakes for a little spicy kick and drizzle those. Not drizzle, but what do you call that? Just put those on top I don't even know what I'm saying and that is it this is another really filling and healthy lunch it's high on protein and healthy fats and I don't really feel guilty having a few crackers so I'm just gonna go ahead and enjoy this finally for dinner I'm so excited to show you guys how to make this because this is my healthy pizza I start by baking the oven at 425 preheating the oven I should say and these are the things you're gonna need my pizza kit is from Molinaro's and it comes with the base and the sauce it's low carb and I love it I just have my toppings this is the pepperoni that I like to use I like to do red onion and I also like two types of cheese pizza mozzarella and double cheddar so basically this kit is the base you put the sauce on top like so and spread it out I like this because it's the most low carb base that I have found it is really not that bad and I can make it fit my macros a lot of you guys think I make this by myself, but it's simply a kit and it's pizza by number. So I'm going to go ahead and add my type two types of cheese. I like to use more of the pizza mozzarella because it's gooey and stringy and everything pizza should be. And then I'll arrange my toppings. Nine times out of ten, I do pepperoni. And you can see I like to do a lot of pepperoni because I'm layering it on thick and in formation. And then lately I've been liking to add some true Italian Genoa salami that I get from the butchers on top because this adds a really nice meaty kick. And then I'm going to slice up some red onions thinly and also add those on top because red onion on pizza is the bomb and that is literally it you guys I'm gonna throw this in the oven and bake it for 15 minutes let it cool for five minutes and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this up into equal slices and start serving I always serve with salad this is just a fresh spring mix salad because it's the easiest thing to have on the side I find the pizza really filling on its own so I have a different dressing um, depending on my mood and then I usually take two pieces of pizza this is family pizza night so I usually eat with at least my sister if not my whole family so that's why I'm plating up everybody's here and oh my god I am feeling so hungry I'm in Florida right now looking at this and I know I'm not gonna have it for a while and I'm thinking damn girl so I'm gonna sit down I like to have a glass of cold ice cold water with my meals and the dressing today that I am using is just simple Caesar salad dressing and I'm gonna add that on top and I'm gonna go ham you guys because this is literally what I live for every Friday night Oh, I left this clip in because it's so funny. I drank this with a liquid lipstick on and you'll see right here my reaction. My liquid lipstick didn't come off on the glass, so it was a win. And I hope you guys love this video and thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think and please subscribe.